Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and as you can see, we now have face cam on console, which is honestly something I've been working on for a little while now, and I've been having some gear issues, uh, I was having some issues with the Elgato setup, and it, I eventually figured out what I was doing wrong, and it was partially me and partially, like, the software, it was a little weird, but nonetheless, we have a fully integrated uh, face cam system now for console stuff. So fortunately, I will be able to um, use this on stream as well as you'll get to see me do awkward things like adjust my headset. But regardless, um, and also I do want to say thank you to Thrustmaster for this headset. I actually really, really like it. So anyways, getting into the video. So back in Horizon 3, I did a video where we raced a Nissan GTR against a Nissan Titan XD. Now the Titan XD was fully built. The GTR was stock. So what I'm going to do today is make a follow-up to that video by grabbing a Nissan GTR and buying one brand new. Buying one brand new. I'm In fact, I'm going to just jump to the manufacturer. Where are you, Nissan? Nissan. Nissan. There it is. So, let's see. We have the options of a 2017 GTR or a 2012 GTR Black Edition, which basically, like, the... There's a few differences. I mean, the new one weighs a little more, but it makes a bit more horsepower. The old one makes a little bit less horsepower, but it weighs a little bit less. So I think we're going to run the brand new GTR. And But but what we're going to do is run the brand new GTR, completely stock. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab a Titan. We're going to fully build it, and then we're going to see what it can do. So I think I'm going to run this thing in... I like the silver, actually. I like it a lot. I mean, it suits the GTR. It really, really suits the GTR. GTRs look good in silver. And I'm not a big silver car person. I think silver is honestly kind of a bland and boring color. But at the same time, some cars look really, really good in silver. So you kind of have to figure out, like, where do you sit in this mix about, like, well, I like silver cars, but at the same time, I don't like silver cars. <laughs> But regardless, let's go ahead and take this thing to the highway and see what she can do. So here we are at the highway, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting both vehicles in the exact same spot to make sure it's fair. And we're going to use this sign right here. We're going to line our front end up with that sign. So it's a little bit too far forward. Let's see. Okay, that's, that's about right. That works. Right there. That works. So what we're going to do is we're going to run from here to the speed trap, and whatever this thing scores will be the score that the Titan needs to try to beat. So let's see what this thing can do. Let's see, about 5,000 RPM launch, and go! Man, it spun all four wheels. Damn! This is stock! There's 100, 110, 120. Oh, God, 130, 140. 150, 160, 170, oh, okay, 175.27 miles an hour, so, now it's time, now it's time to build that Titan and see what it can do, I'm actually really excited for this because I like the Titan a lot, so let's go ahead and buy ourselves a Titan, so, this thing, of course, I keep forgetting to do that. Uh, let's see. We'll go ahead and head straight to Nissan. And let's see if we can grab, yes, the Titan Warrior concept. Now, I don't know if you can put drag tires on this thing. I, I've, never, um, I've never tried to put drag tires on this thing before. Um, but let's see. Should we go with that like standard color or should we do something kind of wild and out there? I mean, I like the idea of doing, like, a blue. I think these trucks look really good in blue. Um, so I'm actually going to run it in blue. I mean, even it looks good even in blue with, like, the orange accents. It actually really sets the thing off well, I think. So let's go ahead and get this thing into the shop, get it built, and see what it can do once we actually put some proper power to it. Now, I know this thing can be built like crazy because it's a diesel. It's got that Cummins V8. So that's the thing too is like it's weird. It's always weird saying Cummins V8. I'm still not used to that. Like I don't think anybody will ever fully be used to saying Cummins V8. So let's go ahead and do our full upgrade and we'll get the engine built first. Everything in that engine needs to be done. Like finished top to bottom. So let's get the head done, the block done, the turbo done. All of that stuff, the intercooler system done, the oil and cooling done, 
And that leaves us with 813 horsepower and 1,455 foot-pounds of torque. Now, again, you got to remember this thing has a massive weight disadvantage. So we'll get those race brakes on there. And then let's see. We could do rally suspension, which really all it does is give us adjustment. I mean, that's literally it. So remember, we're allowed to do whatever we want with this thing. And as long as it, like, if it, if it can beat a stock GTR, then I'm going to call that a win. Remember, 175.27 miles an hour. That's going to be our number. So drivetrain-wise, we want this thing fully built, like fully, fully built, because everything needs to be tunable. And then from there, we need to go and see what tire options we have. So, okay, so snow tires. Now, obviously, snow tires are only currently offered because it's wintertime, and they're basically the, like, the equivalent of... I, I believe they would be the equivalent of just putting, like, an off-road race tire on the truck. So I think... Mm, I mean, to be honest, like, I don't know... I don't know if I should do it or not. I mean, if we can do whatever we want, then I'll go ahead and throw them on there. So, let's see. 365s for all that grip. Good lord, that's going to be a ton of grip. And just because I'm curious to see what this would look like with... Ooh, that looks beefy. That looks really good. That looks really beefy. So, let's see what we can do aero and appearance-wise. There's not much on the front. I mean, you can do a lot of, like, Baja truck stuff, which we're not going to do. Same story in the back. We're not doing that either uh, because that's not really what this is about. That's not what this is for. But now it's time to install everything and take it out on that highway and see what we've built and see what she can do after a little bit of tuning work has been done. So, let's see. Um, it says our top speed is 183 miles an hour. So, this is going to be a game of acceleration then. So, hmm, let's see. I'm going to soften up the sway bars just because. Um, because I feel like, I mean, we're not really building this as a truck to handle. So, I'm not really concerned about it. Um, I do wonder, though, if dropping the ride height will improve anything. It doesn't improve anything on the virtual dyno. So, I'm going to lower it like halfway. Yeah, I'm going to lower it like halfway and see how it does. And just because I don't want to go too extreme on it, you know what I mean? I'm like, eh. Oh, wait. No. Okay. I wasn't done yet. But yeah, I don't want to go too extreme on it, but I want it to be solid. So let's get everything. I'm going to soften the rear a little bit so it gets off the line easily. The rear acceleration is going to be all the way up. And the front acceleration... I'm going to say, like, 75. We'll bias it, like, 60% rear. And let's go from there, see what we can do, and see what our crazy built Titan is capable of. Now, we haven't touched the gearing, and the gearing is one of the biggest things that will be a determining factor here. So, determining what the best gearing approach would be, uh, or will be, is going to be a big factor. So, let's head out to the highway, let's do a little bit of tuning, and let's, get, and let's then go and see if we can beat that speed trap. Which, if we can beat that speed trap, uh, that's going to be fun. If we can beat that speed trap, I'm all good with that genuinely i mean i would love to see i would love to see this titan just like you know hell do a takedown on that gtr just because it's cool to see something do that i think all right first launch in the titan let's see what happens we're gonna launch it low because it's a diesel and go Shifting early to keep it in the power band. It's quick. I don't know if it's going to beat the GTR. But it's quick. Like, see, that's the thing. I really don't know if this can can get to that speed in that short of a distance. I mean, to be honest, I, I'm i not too sure. I kind of doubt it, actually. I'm going to tune the gears a little bit. So, let's... Let's tune it a bunch more for acceleration. And let's see if we can get that 0 to 60 any quicker. So let's start with like a 410 and see what it wants us to do. See, now it says 0 to 60 slower. And the top speed is going to be slower than what the GTR ran. Mm. 
Let's try, let's try that 3.68. It says 0 to 60 will be slower, but we'll find out. It's definitely, like, able to use that torque to its advantage a little bit more. Come on! Okay, so it takes a long time to get up there. But you know what? You know what? Let's go ahead and run it. Let's run it, and we'll see what happens because I well no you know what no hold on because we're not we're not quite in the correct power band yet let's try 3.55 well I'm gonna wait until there we go the 0 to 60 went back down the 0 to 60 went back down which means we're gonna be in that power band for longer at the top end so you know what we're already heading in the direction of the speed trap It slips the clutch really, really, really bad. Really bad. God, it's so weird driving anything diesel in Forza. It just doesn't feel right to shift so early. There's 160. There's 165. There's 170. This is not going to be our official run, by the way. Even though we are going through the speed trap, this is not going to be our official run. 175.15. But again, that's not our official run, and that's not our official figure. Um, I'm just wanting to make sure that it can actually do that speed. You know what I mean? Because if it couldn't do the speed, then, it, they're like, what would be the point of the test? But now, let's see if this Titan XD can actually beat that GTR. And I don't know. I'm not entirely... I'm not entirely hopeful for this thing winning, but at the same time, it would be awesome if it did. So let's give it a little bit of a boost to the launch. What are we... Let's see. We're already... We're going to be launching it at like 89 pounds of boost. That's insane. At 2300 RPM. And go! Go! Yeah, the power starts to drop off after like 3,500 RPM. It's definitely a diesel. The problem is, once you get up into 6th, your power is just already dropping off. And it's dropping off a lot. 163.9. So unfortunately, it couldn't beat that GTR. However, however, I will say that <laughs> this thing... I mean, it's really fast for what it is. It's really, really fast for what it is. And I've got to give them credit for putting it in here. I mean, like, for keeping it around. And I can't wait to race it against the monster regalia. That is going to be freaking nuts. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button. Tell me in the comment section below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to click that subscribe button for more daily videos like this one. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you all later.